What are threaded inserts for plastics? Threaded inserts for plastics provide reusable metal threads and threaded joints in plastic parts. They are cylindrical metal parts with a threaded hole or stud in the middle and a serrated outer wall to increase the connection strength between the insert and the plastic. These metal inserts are designed for quick installation and can be used on both thermoplastics and thermosets. Threaded inserts offer more pull-out force on a mating part than a self-tapping screw in plastics. Why do we need threaded inserts in plastic? Let us look at some of the reasons why we need threaded inserts inside plastic material. Two key reasons for using a threaded insert are that it keeps the threaded joint intact for the duration of the application and provides higher pull-out torque. Engineers often use threaded inserts on plastics in settings where the product is frequently put together and taken apart for maintenance or repair. As they provide unlimited reusable thread, unlike self-tapping thread. Increased seating torque for applications such as compressing O-rings and gaskets to seal a product assembly. They are not affected by the plastic material stress relaxation or self-tapping screw creep. Inserts for plastics provide the strength required to tighten bolts and screws to the levels needed to stretch the fastener and maintain a sufficient bolted joint assembly. Key Features of Threaded Inserts for Plastics Knurling features provide torque resistance. Undercuts and grooves provide pull-out resistance. Opposing knurls, diamond knurling and serrations provide pull-out resistance. Split edges of the metal insert help cut through the pilot hole. Length is proportional to the pull-out resistance. For example, longer the insert, better the put-out force. The split design collapses during the installation and expands into the plastic when screws are screwed, increasing the pull-out force. Types of threaded inserts for plastics. What are the different types of threaded inserts for plastics? Depending on the application, product designers and manufacturers have plenty of insert types to choose from for their applications. Different types can be categorized into groups by either installation method, thread type, or external features. Common insert types in terms of insert geometry are flange type threaded inserts, male stud inserts, split threaded inserts and expansion inserts. We have grouped them in terms of installation methods. The installation method has five primary metal threaded inserts for plastics. Molded in inserts. Self-tapping inserts. Ultrasonic inserts. Press in inserts. Heat inserts. Let us look at each type of inserts in detail. Press in inserts for plastics. Press in inserts for plastics are designed to be inserted post molding and provide a female thread in most plastics. The insert design and installation method reduces cost but sacrifices torque and pull out performance compared to other insert types. How are press in inserts for plastic installed? Press in inserts are pressed into pre molded or drilled holes. The user places the insert on the pre molded or pre drilled pilot hole. The standard press tooltip is lowered to push the insert into the pilot hole. Plastic material deforms and flows around the knurls, fins and undercut features of the insert. Broaching certs are designed to provide a strong female thread in thermosetting plastics. They are installed using a standard press. The mating plastic should have a correctly sized, pre-molded hole. The broaching cert is placed into the plastic so that it rests in the hole. The tool presses the insert into the hole. As the insert is pressed in, the knurls cut into the surrounding plastic. The insert is fully installed when the punch is flush with the face of the plastic. Press certs are designed for post-mold insertion and provide a female thread in many plastics. They are installed using a standard press. The mating plastic should have a correctly sized, pre-molded hole. The insert is placed into the plastic so that it rests in the hole. As the press squeezes the insert into the hole, the body closes inwards. The mating part is attached using a standard screw. As the screw is installed, the insert body expands so the veins and neurals bite into the plastic. The hole must be deep enough to allow for the length of the mating screw. 
Expansion certs are designed for post-mold insertion and provide a female thread in many plastics. They are installed with a pneumatic or manual press. The mating plastic should have a correctly sized, pre-molded hole. The insert is placed into the plastic so that it rests in the hole. As the press squeezes the insert into the hole, the body of the insert collapses inwards. The mating part is attached using a standard screw. As the screw is installed, the insert body expands into the surrounding plastic. The hole must be deep enough to allow for the length of the mating screw. Advantages and Disadvantages of Press in Inserts Advantages of Press in Inserts Reusable Fixing Interface Quick and Cost-Effective Average Pull-Out and Torsional Strength Disadvantages of Press in Inserts for Plastic Requires a Standard Manual Press Provides the worst pull-out and torsional strength compared to other types of inserts Self-Tapping Insert for Plastic As the name suggests, Self-tapping inserts are like self-tapping screws for plastic, where the assembler screws the insert into a pilot hole. These are post-mold type metal inserts and have the best pull-out resistance compared to other post-mold type inserts. For rapid prototyping and pre-production units, these are the best options to simulate injection mold in inserts. Also known as self-threaded inserts for plastics, Self-tapping inserts are designed for hard or brittle plastics and are installed using threaded drivers. Drivers can be either manual, electric, or pneumatic. Self-tapping inserts have a thin thread profile to avoid exerting high stress on the plastics and coarse thread pitch to maximize plastic shear surface and resist pull-out. These are widely used in the automotive industry. How are self-tapping inserts for plastic installed? The threaded insert is screwed into the insert driver and placed on top of the pilot hole. The driver screws in the inserts to a preset height or until a preset torque is achieved for flanged inserts. The split edges of the metal insert cut through the pilot hole. Advantages and disadvantages of self-tapping inserts for plastic. Benefits of self-tapping inserts for plastic. Robust and reusable fixing interface. High pull-out and torsional strength. Quick and easy installation. Limitations of self-tapping inserts for plastic. It requires a special tool. Less pull-out and torsional strength compared to mold in insert. A skilled assembler or the automated assembly line required. Molded in inserts for plastic. Mold in inserts, commonly known as threaded inserts for plastic molding, are pre-installed during the injection molding process. Although more costly to get the insert into place than the post-mold installation process, these inserts provide the best performance out of all the threaded insert types. In addition, molded-in inserts can provide a thread in a wide range of plastics for thermoplastics and thermosets. How are molded-in inserts for plastic installed? Injection molding manufacturers mold these inside the plastic part during the injection molding process. The manufacturer places the insert in the mold tool on a retaining pin holder. Generally done manually but can be automated. Then they seal the mold tool and inject the molten plastic into the mold. Plastic flows around the knurls, fins and undercut features of the insert. The pin holds the insert in place and also stops the plastic from going into the threads. Plastic material cools down around the insert. Advantages and Disadvantages of Molded in Inserts for Plastic Benefits of Molded in Inserts for Plastic It offers the best performance across all the threaded inserts. Robust and reusable fixing interface. High pull-out and torsional strength. Disadvantages of Molded in Inserts for Plastic Expensive compared to other types. Inserts may float, move inside, and damage the mold and part. Plastic may flash the insert's internal threads, necessitating cleaning. Inserts can make the molding cycle longer and are frequently challenging to load. The expansion of inserts requires preheating. Inserts in returned parts are expensive to repair. Plastic might crack when it shrinks too much around the insert due to an increase in hoop stress. Heat inserts for plastics. Heat inserts are designed for post-mold installation on thermoplastics using an electric heat insertion press. These are forced into a pre-drilled or pre-molded pilot hole. 
While cold pressing relies on plastic flow at room temperature, heat inserts rely on plastic softening due to heat and flow around the insert. Unfortunately, heat can't remelt thermosets, hence ultrasonic inserts are unsuitable for thermosets plastics. These are one of the best options for prototyping injection molding parts using vacuum casting or 3D printed parts for metal threads. How are heat threaded inserts for plastic installed? These are one of the best options for prototyping injection molding parts using vacuum casting or 3D printed parts for metal threads. The user places the insert on the pre-molded or pre-drilled pilot hole. Then electrical insertion press tooltip is lowered to sit gently on top of the insert. The head converts electric power into enough heat to heat the insert. Once the required temperature is reached, the head gently forces the insert into the hole. As the heated press squeezes the insert into the pilot hole, the plastic melts. Softened plastic flows around the knurls, fins and undercut features of the insert and cools down. Advantages and Disadvantages of Heat Threaded Insert into Plastic Benefits of Heat Insert into a Plastic Fast and Quick Installation For prototypes, designers can use a soldering iron tip to force the insert into a plastic. Reusable Fixing Interface medium pull-out and torsional strength. Disadvantages of heat insert into a plastic. They require special equipment. Expensive compared to cold press in inserts due to special equipment and increased cycle time. Can only use with thermoplastics. Ultrasonic inserts for plastics. Ultrasonic inserts are designed for post-mold installation on thermoplastics using an ultrasonic insertion press, where the manufacturer forces the insert into a pilot hole. While cold pressing relies on plastic flow at room temperature, ultrasonics rely on plastic softening due to heat and flow around the insert. Similar to heat inserts, ultrasonic inserts are unsuitable for thermosets plastics. How are ultrasonic threaded inserts for plastic installed? The manufacturer places the insert on the pre-molded or pre-drilled pilot hole. Then ultrasonic insert press tooltip is lowered to sit gently on top of the insert. The ultrasonic head converts electric power into vibration, generating enough heat to heat the insert. Once the required temperature is reached, the head gently forces the insert into the hole. Softened plastic flows around the knurls, fins and undercut features of the insert and cools down. Advantages and Disadvantages of Ultrasonic Inserts for Plastic Benefits of ultrasonic inserts for plastic Fast and quick installation Reusable fixing interface Medium pull-out and torsional strength Disadvantages of ultrasonic inserts for plastic Special equipment Installation needs PSU, ultrasonic insertion tool, cycle controlling timers, electrical energy transducer and ultrasonic horn Expensive compared to cold press in inserts due to special equipment and increased cycle time Ultrasonic vibration can damage the insert's surface finish by flaking. These flakes and chips can reduce connection strength. The equipment is noisy and might damage the internal threads if misused. Can only use with thermoplastics. Threaded inserts applications. Product designers use metal inserts in plastics for applications that require strong and durable metal threads inside plastic material. Aircraft. Overhead aircraft interiors use brass inserts in soft and brittle plastics. Automotive air intake manifold. Electronics, GPS enclosures. Industrial, power tool housing such as handheld drills, medium-size pump housing. For more product design articles and videos subscribe and visit link, engineeringproductdesign.com.